Okay, so today I will be applying Aquapel onto the uh, front windshield of this car. This is a Tesla Model X, as well as my other car, which is a Kia Soul EV. So, um, Aquapel looks like this. Um, comes in these canisters. You squeeze the two the tabs right there. The liquid will come out through here, and then you uh, apply that. I'll go through that um, later today. Typically, I've been using Rain-X, so Rain-X works fairly well. Um, the main reason I want to try Aquapel is because Rain-X uh, doesn't really last very long. It typically lasts about, oh, the first week is really good. The next few weeks are pretty good, but after about a month or so, uh, the Rain-X really does wear off, and um, I need to reapply it again. So rather than sort of continuing to, to reapply Rain-X every month or so, um, you know, I live up here in Seattle, so uh, I'm no stranger to rain. So um, as a result, I want to try using Aquapel because I did read online from a lot of reviews that Aquapel does last a lot longer, so maybe it'll last up to three months or so. Um, the general process, first we have to clean these, uh, these windows. You want to make sure that it's going to bond very well, so I will be um, cleaning both of these windows first. And after I do that, then I'll apply the Aquapel and we'll talk about how to do that. So, um, yeah, so right. stay tuned. So I've got some glass cleaner. Microfiber towel. So I'll be using the glass cleaner and the microfiber towel to clean off the windshield. Okay, so I've actually got two of these. I've got two um, Aquapels because I'm going to use uh, these two for both of these cars. Um, my theory at least is that one of these is usually enough for a car, but the Kia Soul EV has a fairly small windshield. On the other hand, the Tesla Model X has a big windshield. So I'm hoping between the two of them, I can still get all of this done. If I can't, I actually do have more of these. So um, maybe three of these will do two cars, but. Um, but we'll find out. So, to start, so the way that you do these is you squeeze this together, that will release the liquid up into here. And then you can go from an up and down pattern and then a side to side pattern. Um, you don't want to let this dry. So, unlike Rain X, where Rain X you let it um, sit there and, and you actually let it um, become a haze, with this stuff you don't actually let it become a haze. You just um, Make sure it's rubbed all on there, and then once it's on there, use a microfiber towel to uh, wipe it off. So that is the general instructions on how to do this. So um, yeah, let's get started. Now when you do squeeze this, what you want to do is you want to have most of the liquid stay here. So what you don't want to do is go like this and squeeze it and have all the liquid fall over to the ground. So um, usually what I, what I want to do is I want to squeeze it like this, let the liquid come out, or better yet, I'll probably squeeze this while I'm already above the windshield so that if any of it does fall off, it will fall onto the windshield and then I can just use that. So I'm going to start with an up and down pattern and I'm going to go side to side. And then I'm going to wipe. Probably heard that little click. The click is releasing um, some liquid here. So I'm going to start up here. Yep, and it did start falling down already. So you don't necessarily need to go really fast, but um, you do want to get as much of this on here as possible. You want a thin coat throughout the entire windshield. That is really the objective that we're going for here. So, 
plan to do roughly about half of the car. Now I'm gonna go to the other side to do the other half. My dash cam is roughly at the halfway mark, so I'm gonna go up to the dash cam uh, and go from there. So now that I've roughly hit the halfway mark, my next step is to go this way. Now I'm gonna go this way. And as probably expected, um, this side is more wet. The side closer to me is more wet than the side further away from me. And that has to be expected because this is the part I started out from. So the part I started out from is going to have more aquapel than the part that I'm ending up. So you do want to do this inside because you don't want this stuff to um, dry. Put that right there. I'm not quite a towel. So as you saw here, I did it all like this. And then I did it all like this. The second one. So I'm gonna take the second one now, the second aquapel, work on the fold. All right, so there you have it. This is the aquapel that's already done. It's gone now. If you shake it, it makes a little sound. But the aquapel is all used up. I used up two of these for two cars. Um, as you saw in this video, um, you do want to go with an up and down motion. And then you want to go side to side. Make sure you get good coverage there. Um, that's, of course, after you clean the windows really well. And then use a microfiber towel like this to clean and buff it all off make sure that there's no more haze anymore and we should be good so let's see how long this lasts maybe i'll do another test of me driving out in the rain to see just how well it, it repels it repels water um, with rain x when i first apply it um, like the first uh, few days it would work well for about 30 miles and above it would repel below that it doesn't really repel that much um, after about a week or so it repels after about 40 miles an hour so I really have to be going 40 miles an hour for it to really work. Um, anything slower than that doesn't work that well. So uh, my wife actually drives the Model X most of the time. She uses the wipers a lot. So um, I don't think it'll last quite as long in this car. With Rain X, it usually only lasts about a week or so because she's always using the wipers. Um, I don't use the wipers at all, like very, very rarely. So um, Rain X usually lasts three to four weeks for me. We'll see how long this one lasts. I'm expecting it to last a good, you know, three months or so, but we'll see. Okay, thanks for watching and till next time.